Have you ever wondered how chatting applications are working? In today's video, you are going to learn how to create a chat room between multiple client computers connected by the main server. In our folder, we have two files, the server.py and the client.py. And the first thing that we need to do in our server.py is that we need to import the threading and the socket modules. What is a thread? A thread is a sequence of instructions within a program. For simplicity, running several threads is similar to running several different programs. Then, we need to set a host IP and a port for the server to run on. And this will be our local host. Here we need to be careful to not to choose a reserved port. So in order to display all open ports, just go to your command window or bash and type netstate. I'll show you how. Simply run netstate. So these are the active connections and you don't want to choose any of these. For our port, I will choose 59000. Next, I want to create a server object. And this we have learned to do in the last videos. Great. Now, we need to bind the server to the host and the port. So simply we will say server.bind. And be careful here, you need to put a tuple inside the tuple, otherwise you will get an error message telling you that bind method takes exactly one argument and two given. Next, we want to activate the listening mode for any incoming connections to the server. For a client A to send a message to client B, he needs to send this message first to the server, which will play the role of the intermediary between both clients. Next, we want to create a list for clients, which will be an empty list. And also we need to create a list for aliases or nicknames. Great. Now let's create a function which sends a message from the server to all the connected clients. We will call this function broadcast. And it takes one parameter, which is the message. And simply we will iterate through the list of clients. And for each client, we need to send this message. The next function that we need to create is a function which will handle the connections of each client computer. So when client A connects to the server and send a message, say to client B computer, we want to receive this message from client A and send it to client B. So in order to do that, we will wrap our code inside a try except block, which is used to catch and handle exceptions. We will call our function handle client. It takes one parameter, which is the client himself. Then we will have a while loop. Then we will have our try. And the message in this case will be equal to the message received from the client with the maximum amount of bytes of 1024. This is the maximum number of bytes that the server can receive from a client. Then we want to broadcast that message. If a message received successfully from the client, we want to invoke the broadcast function to send this message to all other clients. Except that in case of any errors or any failure in connection, we want to identify the client that we need to get rid of from the client's list. How to do that? We need to create an index. This index will be equal to clients list dot index. And the index method here searches the tuple for a specified value and returns its position. In our case, the client. Then we want to remove that client and we want to close the connection with that client. 
we need to do the same thing for the aliases because we need to remove this alias of that specific client from the aliases list. Here we have overwritten the value of the alias and we need to remove that alias. We can send a message by broadcast function saying that this alias has left the chat room. So let's do it before we remove it. We will invoke our broadcast function. This alias has left the chat room and don't forget to encode it because we don't want to send these kinds of messages which are in the form of string. It won't work. We need to send them in the form of bytes. That's why we need to encode and decode. Then after we have successfully removed the client from the client's list, the alias from the alias's list, we need to break from that loop. Fantastic. Now we need to create the main function to receive the client's connection. Now let's create our receive function, which is our main function to receive the client's connections. So also we will have a while loop and let's at the beginning saying that the server is running and listening for connections because otherwise it will be just nothing. You need to have some message to tell you that the server is running. Next, what we want to do is we want to let the server be ready to accept any incoming connections. So we will set the client and the address to the server dot accept and accept method is running constantly on the server. It waits for any connections from any client and this method returns a new socket representing the connection and the address of the client. The next thing that we need to do is we need to print some message saying that the connection is being established with and we want to return the address. We cannot concatenate a string with an integer. So we need to parse that into a string as well. Next, we want to send to this client some kind of word to tell that what is the alias. Client will send a word like alias, like that. And also we need to encode it. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create that alias based on the information received from the client. And again, buffer size of 1024, which means the maximum number of bytes that the server can receive from a single client. Then we need to append this alias to the list of aliases and we need to do the same thing with the clients. So aliases.append this alias similarly with the clients. Next, I want to display a message in my server saying that the alias of this client is and we will return whatever the alias of this user. Now I want to invoke the broadcast function in order to send a message to all the connected users telling them that this user has joined the chat room. So to do that, we will invoke the broadcast function and the message will be again with F string. So here is alias of that user has connected to the chat room. And the last thing that we need to do is we need to send a message from the server to this client telling them that you are now connected. And don't forget to encode it. Great. The only remaining thing now for us to do is to create and start the thread. In order to invoke this handle client function, we need to do it through a thread. So in order to do that, we need to create a thread object. And let me explain something very important. Python supports multi-threading here. And we're going to run an individual thread 
for each connected client as we want to handle the threads in the same time and this is how Python supports the multi-threading. Because the server needs to receive and send the messages in the same time, let's say that client A send a message at 6 o'clock. You want in the same second that client B receives the message instantaneously and that is why we need to create the thread. So a thread object will be equal to the threading module dot the thread class and the thread class has different parameters. The first parameter is the target, which will be equal to our handle client function. And the second parameter is the arguments, which will be equal to the client. We need to handle only the client. Great. The last thing is that we need to start that thread. Okay, we are done with our server side. The only thing remaining is that we need to invoke that receive function here. So we'll say if name equal to main. And I know I can do it without that, but I'm old school. I used to do if name equals to main. Then we need to invoke the receive function. Great stuff. Now let's go ahead and write our client side. We're now inside our client file. We need to import the threading and the socket. Then we need to get an alias and this will be in form of input. We'll say choose an alias. Then we want to create a client object. Then we want to create a client object. And I think you know this by heart now. And instead of binding a client to a host and a port, we're going to connect it. So we will connect the client to the local host and our port. Now what we want to do simply is that we want to create two functions for two threads. One for receiving the messages from other clients through the server and the other one is to send messages to other clients also through the server. So first we will create our client receive function. Like that. And also we need to run a while loop with a try except block and inside here we will say that the message is equal to client receive the 1024 bytes and we want to decode that because now we are receiving and not sending and if message is equal to the aliases which is this word that we have defined in our server. Let me show you very quickly, which is here, because the server will send this message to the client. And if that message is equal to the aliases message, then we want to send the alias, which is the input right here, dot encode UTF-8. Encode runs with the send and decode runs with the receive. Don't forget that. Else, we want to print the message, whatever message is received from the server. Except that we want to handle any errors by just printing a message saying error. And we want to close the connection with that client and break out of the loop. Like that. Now let's go ahead and create our sending function, which is pretty straightforward. Client.send. 
Again, we will run a while loop. And we will say message equal to This is basically here your alias and the message that you want to type because you want to chat with a different person on the server. So you want to type whatever message you want to send and then you will hit enter to send that message. Then we want to send this message. The only remaining thing now is that we need to create two threads one for client receive and one for client send. So let's get out of the function and we will create receive thread variable. This again will be equal to the threading module dot the thread class and inside we'll have a target which will be equal to the client receive. And let's start that thread and similarly with the send thread and we are done we are done with our client now let me run three different windows one for the server and two for different clients and we will see how they can chat with each other okay now let me show you how to do that as i have bash so i will open the folder through bash so this is the first window the second window and the third window right here so how we can organize it we can put both clients down here and the server we will put it above here now let's go ahead and run our server file So we get a message telling us that the server is running and listening. And now let's say that this is client A and this is client B. They will run through the same file. So Python client.py, choose an alias. Great. So we'll say back brace. Fantastic. Back brace is connected to the chat room. You are now connected. In the same time on the server side, we got a message telling us that the alias of this client is back brace and repeating the same message again because it's a while loop all right now let's go ahead and run the same file on climb b choose an alias let's say for example super mario great so here in the back brace window we receive a message telling us that the super mario has connected to the chat room and here on the server, again, the alias of this client is Super Mario. All right, now let's go ahead and try to connect um, to Super Mario. So we'll say, hello, Mario, can you hear me? And back brace telling us here in the Super Mario side, hello, Mario, can you hear me? Great, you see how this is working. We are sending messages from Backbrace to Super Mario and from Super Mario to Backbrace through the server. Again, I'm repeating this point is very, very important. Clients cannot be connected to each other directly. They need the main server here to send and receive messages from each other. Okay, I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.